Hello everybody, this is uh, Johnny Gaming here. So today I'll be giving a basic rundown on how to utilize custom cast as well as understand its interface and how each setting works. Um, this video is also replied to a recent comment uh, someone has suggested in relation to providing a tutorial of custom cast. But yeah, um, by the end of this video, I'm sure you guys will get the gist of custom cast's features and have at least a generic idea of how uh, custom cast really works. So yeah. Um, yeah, I just want to make a quick disclaimer though, I am running custom cast on an Android emulator uh, on my PC known as Bluestacks and I am no way sponsored, endorsed or affiliated with custom cast or Bluestacks. And yeah, um, custom cast layout may slightly look different for you guys, but overall this guide should not be hindered uh, by it, hopefully. I will also provide links to these programs in the description too for your own convenience. Alright, so uh, yeah, let's get this started. So uh, here I am on the main uh, interface of Custom Cast. Uh, below my cute, um, sorry, my very cute adorable model, we have the overlay settings uh, as indicated by these uh, color, nine colored boxes. And just above uh, the model here, we have the Twitter icon, and this uh, directs you to the official Custom Cast English Twitter page, as well as, as a share icon just above it too, uh, where you can share your screenshots of your Custom Cast model to your photo gallery or any other external sources. And on the top right here, we also have the free uh, CC coin icon, which allows you to obtain in-game currency known as CC. Uh, by completing offers, uh, custom cast recommends, or by uh, purchasing CC and so on. Um, I will thoroughly touch on this uh, topic later throughout the video and so on, so yeah, I'll be getting back to that. But yeah, um, firstly, let's uh, discuss this uh, exit option here. Uh, so this option allows you to exit custom cast instantly, as you can see here, uh, very self-explanatory, um, yeah, very easy to use. And yes, uh, we've got the configuration uh, right here. So we click on that. Um, in here, we can see a lot of options displayed to us on the screen here. So I'll skip over the first uh, eight gray icons as they seem uh, you know, pretty self-explanatory. And we shall move on to these uh, six blue icons here, as you can see. Um, yeah, let's go into the settings first. Uh, here you can adjust the graphics and audio levels of uh, custom cast as well as the flick and control settings and so on um, Yeah, the share uh, Button display and yeah, pretty much everything here that is to it uh, Yeah, again, these uh, options are self-explanatory and you can test this out at your own leisure You know, feel free to have a look at what these settings have to offer so yeah, you can see here, that's a bloom, so you know, that will affect, affect uh, the background and the character, I believe, and all that. So it makes it more bright, I believe, if that's how bloom works. Um, yeah. Uh, all right, let's close out of that. We'll go back into config and uh, we go to lip sync. Uh, so here you can adjust the voice and facial recognition uh, levels of your model and uh, you can use your camera and mic to mimic your model's movements and voice here so yeah you can have a look at this as well you know the reflectance of the sound for voice recognition and the facial recognition for the degree of effect which can be minimized or maximized depending on how you want it to be adjusted and all that kind of stuff all right so let's get out of that and we go to flicks so uh, here you can select from a wide variety of facial expressions as well as poses to be used by your uh, model in screenshots and so on. Um, up to uh, nine uh, flicks can currently be equipped for each model and can individually be removed as well, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so we've got facial expression, you know, got that. And then we've got pose as well. So the type of poses your custom cast model can utilize. And yeah, even to remove it's pretty simple. Just press remove and then click on any of them. But I don't think that's working at the moment. So yeah, that's how you do that right there. Right, so yeah, let's go to lighting real quick. So here you can adjust the lighting, uh, color and exposure levels of your model. So as you can see here, my uh, model here is starting to become more light, uh, uh, almost like a uh, what do you call it? Like a neon color, almost. But yeah, so that's uh, what you can do here. You can adjust the light angle as well, as well as the uh, you know light angle for the X and Y positions. You know all that kind of stuff right there. 
And yeah, so we close out of that. Uh, we go back to config and let's talk about the camera. So here you can enable or disable the position of your uh, character's uh, model's eyes uh, towards the camera, for example, and as well as the gyroscope uh, camera for both the models and background too. So this is where you, your device would be required to utilize this type of thing. So, you know, when you enable the camera option on your device, you know, you can utilize this at your disposal and all those kind of stuff. Um, this uh, works in tandem with your device when the camera is, is enabled, as I mentioned earlier. And you can also apply camera filters too, as you can see here. Uh, you know, monotone and all that. What else we got? I, I'm not going to pronounce that, but yeah. Yeah, so we've got a lot of uh, camera filters here, as you can see on my screen. So sepia and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go back to config and let's do help. So here, um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. You can uh, look at further detailed descriptions of how to use custom cars and all that. So, you know, inquire to the help option for more information and all that. So, you know, it's got everything you need pretty much. All right, um, yeah, so let's talk about stream. We move on to that topic now. So uh, when you start custom cars for the very first time, you'll be greeted to the listed uh, presets, uh, but not in my case, obviously, because I've already got one made. Um, from here, you can select any character you like uh, to use. Uh, for this scenario, I'm going to go with uh, <laughs> very thick, obviously. Um, but yeah, next you can choose a background. So once I click that one, and then you go next, so uh, yeah, next um, you can choose a background drop for the character you like. Um, yeah, as you can see here, you can scroll left and right. But for now, I will stick with this one. And then I'll go next. Again, uh, you can choose the lip sync options and all that as I've discussed earlier, you know, so I'll leave it like that for now. I'm not gonna use uh, facial recognition in this case, uh, no. And yeah, all these flicks here, you can choose that too. So they're all fine as well. So I'll move, go next. And yeah, uh, once you're here, stream essentially allows you to imitate your model uh, through voice and or facial recognition. Uh, in my case, only in my case, only uh, voice recognition is picked up uh, by the model, as you can see her mouth uh, move just right there. In the past, I haven't uh, had uh, luck getting my face cam on my PC to pick up and uh, register my facial gestures uh, to the model. So you know, that was a bit unfortunate right there. But yeah, uh, ideally you want to run a custom cast on a mobile or tablet device to fully optimize uh, custom cast features uh, such as facial recognition and so on. And yeah, so yeah, that's the basic gist of it. So yeah, the camera is currently fixed. I cannot move it, you know, because it's, oh, actually I can move it, Never mind. But yeah, you can definitely see, you know, the characters, models, mouth moving stuff, you know, determined by what I'm saying right now. So yeah, uh, right, let's exit out of that. So we go top. And we shall uh, move on to customize. So here, uh, customize allows you to select from your current model presets and you can customize everything from your uh, bo uh, model's body to the accessories as well as the background drops and all that kind of good stuff. So here I'll choose uh, Fairy Thick once again. And yeah, so it will ask you to customize your character. Click hit yes, depending on your presets and all that kind of stuff. Right, so here we've got, you know, the interface here, you know, the six uh, colored boxes. So you've got save, exit, settings, check, background, pose, expressions, and customize. Uh, so here, save and exit. Yeah, you, you know what this is. You can save your characters, presets, and stuff. You know, if you press yes, it would save it. Uh, return to the main screen. You can decide to choose yes, uh, choose yes, but in this case, no. Right, so here again, settings, you know, we've already discussed a bit about them too, like, uh, you know, auto camera and so on. This just basically fixates the model to the, uh, you know, to the required position uh, it's preset to. So at the moment, I think it's fixated to this current one. Yeah, so these are category filters, you know, uh, male, female, got the lighting once again, camera. You know, all those uh, type of good stuff, same configurations and all that stuff we've talked about earlier. And eyes on camera, you know, it pays attention towards uh, the camera, as you can see there. 
if I turn it off and then I turn it on, you can see how she looks at me. Right, now if we go to check, you can basically just see, you know, what the character, you know, looks like overall and stuff. And yep, you can just click that. Now if we go to background, you can actually choose uh, the background presets here as well, where you can, um, you know, you can choose from a different wide variety of backgrounds. The uh, current base uh, uh, custom cast has to offer. And you know, some of them you have to purchase yourself, obviously. So I'll get to that in a moment and yeah. So yeah, if I choose that one, for example, yeah, that's fine. Um, let's see, if we go to pose and facial expressions, you can see here, you can choose from different types of poses and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, feel free to have a look at that too. And then, you know, some facial expressions as well, like normal, uh, laugh, normal, and all that type of good stuff right there. Right. If we go to customize here, you can see a lot of customi customization ability, like, you know, customization presets and so on. So here we've got customized body, body parts, clothing, customized parts, presets, and randomize. So obviously you guys know what randomize does. Uh, I don't think I should test that out, but I'm going to assume, assume that uh, it will just uh, randomly select from types of, you know, presets the game has. And yeah, it'll choose it for you basically. Uh, let's go to customize body real quick. So here you can choose the outline of the of the character as well as the face size, eyebrows, you know, all that type of good stuff. Eye size, you can change the uh, width and height of it. Um, you know, you can change the height of your character too. So I'm going to leave everything like this for now, but you can have a look in your own time as well, guys. Uh, bus size, oh, definitely something to have a look at as well. Um, you know, bust position as well. We got torso and you know, neck, shoulders, arms, you name it. Pretty much anything right from the top all the way to the bottom, you can customize for the actual model of the character. Um, yeah, same thing here too, body parts. You know, you can select from different types of body parts. So you can make, so here you can change the gender of the of the character, you know, make it male, female, and so on. Yeah, I thought that was uh, pretty funny right there. Uh, body shape, you know, you, all, all this type of good stuff here, you know, all these, uh, uh, you know, the, the, fa the facial re reconstruction, so construction, and all that type of good stuff. You can add like, um, like different types of hairstyles too, like fringe, you know, uh, depending on what uh, type of character you want to make it. Um, you know, you can add these uh, highlights, I think, or sideburns as they call them. Um, you know, all those type of good stuff. You can add, uh, you know, also like iris, you know, different types of iris shapes and so on. You can even add like a, like a mole on your character's face or something like that. Um, you know, you can add, you can even, even add, um, you know, nail polish or something. And, you know, lipstick and yeah, all those types of good stuff. The body part right there. Right, so we go to clothing. Obviously here you can choose what type of clothing your character uh, can wear and stuff. Um, obviously I'm not going to choose it because again I do not want my character to you know, equip those uh, types of presets at the moment. Here you can choose from a wide variety once again, so like hats, um, you know, like, you know, cosmetics and all that type of good stuff. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot of school, we've got some school outfits, uh, pretty much a lot of seasonal outfits like kimono dresses and men's suits and all that type of good stuff. Um, yeah, you can also select from skirts and, you know, all these things uh, you can see here on the screen, uh, you know, dresses, uh, what else? You can even wear like uh, suit outfits for the occasion too. So, you know, I think I've got like a bunny suit outfit equipped to my model at the moment. Um, you know, yeah, you can also choose this uh, type of stuff too, you know, for, uh, for, for the female uh, section as well, you know, all these types of uh, women uh, lingerie and so on and all that, like stockings, uh, you know, all that type of good stuff right there. So yeah, let's move on. Um, yeah, you can also choose like, um, you know, shoes, sandals, uh, whatever you can think of. Um, you know, like hairpin accessories too, as well. You can definitely select from a, a large variety of them as well. 
and yeah also like these these glasses too you know i'm sure you guys already seen uh, you know a lot of this in other customization uh stuff and all that yeah so you can like wear a mask um you know apply some like whiskers for example or yeah there's a lot of good things here pretty much and you know you can even equip some gloves too as well as you know like a necklace or something uh customized parts you know once again that just is just a reiteration from what i've mentioned earlier so you can guys guys have a look at that too and yeah once you're done with uh, your customizing character you're actually able to you know save the clothing and body type so if i click this and then i click a uh, new save for example it will automatically save the uh uh, clothing body type and yeah you just also got to be careful to you know which uh, type of uh, thing you're saving so for example here I've saved both the clothing and body so if you want to save it separately you can choose you know save clothing and then you'll actually save the clothing preset rather than the body that you uh, customize so here if I click that you know that saves the outfit she's wearing for example and then if I click save body this will actually save the um, I believe you know that the characters overall build and stuff like that so yeah and yeah you can even load the type of clothing and body your uh, model custom cross models wearing too you know as you can see here load clothing uh, load uh, you know, body clothing or load them separately and you can even delete uh, presets that you produce and you can even recreate initial presets as well and yeah, that uh, pretty much covers uh, this portion of the um, you know customization, I reckon. So feel free to have a look as well when you've got the time to. For now, I'll just uh, not save these and then I'll return back to the main menu. Right, uh, let's go to uh, decoration. So here you can select from your model preset. So I'll choose very thick again. Uh, here you can just, you know, if you can take like photos, you know, think of it as like a like a photo shoot or something or photo booth rather where you can, you know, uh, take take uh, photos of your character, preset characters, uh, models and so on. So here, you know, you've got characters. You can even choose the background too as well if this loads. So, for example, I could uh, choose this one, you know, or this or this or this one even. So if I go back and then, you know, you can even add text, I think. Uh, hi. Yeah, you can add text like that, for example, and then, you know, put it there, for example. You can even customize the font too. So here you can do like dancing script colors too, you know, makes it, uh, you know, pretty, pretty vibrant, pretty effective when it comes to taking uh, screenshots of your character. You know, just make it aesthetically look uh, pleasing and all that type of stuff um, yeah so presets again you can even save the type of preset so you can do that override it and then you've got it saved there and then we can go back let's see we got frames as well you can even choose what type of frame your character uh, is in as well when you're taking the screenshot as well I think it's pretty nice honestly they got a you know they've got a lot of variety of uh, you know um, custom sorry not custom on stock uh, stock fielders that the game has to offer and all that type of good stuff right there um you can chase the opacity you can even flip vertically and stuff like that yeah i don't think it all works on uh, pc but yeah and then you can just take the photo like that um you can save it on you know your get photo gallery file manager or wherever you're using custom cars on so yeah um you know you've got stickers here too again you can adjust the opacity and all that type of good stuff and yeah so we've got the ui you can click that here just the ui the uh yeah in the face so you can disable that and yeah you can see what the character looks like in there too right i'm going to uh, go back if i can so exit and uh, let's go to news so here you can see a bunch of news that uh, the official custom cast has uh you know uh, come up come out with, with in terms of news so you know you got like celebrate 2021 lucky bag and new year's sales starts and all that type of good stuff 
Uh, some of these uh, give you offers, some of them involve your participation in a lot of things really. So yeah, feel free to check them out and all that. And yeah, we'll move on from there. So let's go to the shop. So here you can, um, uh, all right, if this loads, here you can purchase a lot of outfits uh, the game has to offer in, uh, cust sorry, uh, Custom Cust has to offer to you. So here you can see, you know, a lot of uh, uh, outfits, uh, you know, like background jobs, some of them even offer that too, along with the outfit set. Um, personally, myself, I haven't actually uh, purchased one uh, just yet. I've only used these uh, ones that Custom Cast already has in stock. You know, that's already given to you in the beginning. But yeah, for example, here you can see the Marine Look and Seaside Cafe uniform. Um, you can see preview as well if this loads. Hopefully. Um, just waiting. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, you can see all the product detail information. So we got the costume parts and what's uh, in the set as well. So here, yeah, you can look at all this information for each individual uh, outfit set. And yeah, um, you can even choose custom parts as well, as well as, you know, I don't think this is going to load, but yeah, you can choose individual custom parts and, you know, you've got others too um and also well as cast coins so here uh, is the currency known as uh, cc i think that's what they call them so here you you can choose to whether to earn uh this in-game currency known as cc uh, through free mean like free free to play or you know through the paid method so here in this example you can see how much the uh, in-game currency costs and yeah, you can see it's separated into two uh, types of CC, so free and paid. So the paid one obviously means you pay actual money to uh, obtain the paid uh, CC, uh, whereas with the free CC, you can actually obtain by doing uh, offers that uh, Custom Cast gives you. So if I click uh, free CC, uh, get free CC uh, earlier, you'll be sent to this uh, page here, which gives you a list of offers that Custom Cast provides to you, and uh, where you can earn, uh, you know, free uh, free CC. You know, the offers are dependent on the sorry the amount of CC you get. So depending on how large or small it is, will determine what type of action you have to take to obtain the CC uh, in-game currency. So for example, here I think uh, you know let's let's see if we were to try, uh, you know. This one here, I believe it's uh, earn multiple rewards uh, playing CSR Racing 2. So you can obtain free CC this way, but you have to make sure you uh, carefully follow the instructions as depicted here. So step one, download uh, CSR Racing 2 and two, play and complete each level mentioned and three, play all the way and defeat the Gold Rush's crew. So the custom cast application has to verify that uh, you've done all this and then, you know, you can go back to into custom cast and then it will definitely give you the cc uh for me i've never done this uh, before so yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting yeah and i i do know how this works because i had a previous experience with these types of offers before in previous other games but yeah so this is something you should uh you know have a look at at your own leisure if you're planning to buy some outfits uh you know some outfits here I think some of them, I think almost all of them, if not all of them are like free, free CC and they're not paid, I don't think. But yeah, that's the gist of it. And then I believe that gets sent to the downloads item list. So once you've um, uh, bought the set you like or the parts will be sent to this uh, download items bit as I've shown earlier. And then you just got to download the batch uh, downloads from there. And yeah, um, let's look at the missions uh, uh, icon. So here, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Just, uh, you know, uh, like here, for example, log in for five days, log in for five days during the month of uh, January. So here, if you do this for five days, you'll get a rewards and stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much the same with these other ones too. You know, instead you have to like watch videos, I believe, as you can see here, uh, between a certain, you know, uh, cap or something and then you have to reach that uh, requirement in order to unlock the reward as depicted here 
And yeah, you can also have these event ones too, but at the moment there doesn't seem to be any event missions. So, you know, that's all good right there. So yeah, uh, feel free to uh, do these missions every so often because yeah, it will definitely help you obtain a lot more customization for your models and so on. And yeah, so we're pretty much at the end here, I believe. So if we look here at the box, this is the very last one. Um, yeah, this just basically, you know, gives you, I think the like uh, custom cast sends you like rewards and things like that into this box here, I believe. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is pretty much how it works. And I believe I've covered everything. Yes, I feel like I've covered everything. So yeah, that's the basic uh, gist of uh, how to use uh, custom cast. And, you know, I hope you guys found this uh, video informative and very helpful. And yeah, I've I think I've basically covered everything, you know, just a generic uh, overview of custom cars. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, found this, uh, yeah, once again, video informative. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys uh, real soon.